G'day, it's Trooper Cody and Steve with a light horse video and you can see I'm holding a sword. This is a result of a request by a subscriber who wanted to know about the light horse and swords. And you might think to yourself, hang on, Australian light horse, mounted infantry, mounted soldiers with rifles that dismount to fight, why would they have swords? So I think the first part we'll talk about in part one is to be in the Australian light horse even before 1418 World War I. You had to be an exemplary horseman. The book says horseman. Part of that jumping fences without a bareback, riding bareback, but part of it also was the sport of tent pegging with the lance and skill at arms with a sword. You didn't carry them into battle, you didn't have them in action, you didn't take them on patrol, but you had to be able to do all that, even to the point of having competitions with other troops and, uh, and civilians, the mounted police, for instance. And so that's why the light horse are associated in some ways with swords, because they are seen to have them in period photos prior to Beersheba in 1917, the 31st of October, the Beersheba charge, if you remember, was done with bayonets. So we're keeping this short. This is only part one about the light horse and swords. And if you're a cluey person and you know a bit about the light horse, you might have had a look at this sword and been going, hang on. So you better look at part two about the sword. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe. Look out for part two. Thank you.